You've added some front end weight to your truck, and now you want to put heavier springs on it to get your ride height back to where it was. Is it really as easy as just swapping these for these? I really wish it was, but all of this is preset for the 600 pound springs that the kit comes with, or at least that's what they claim. To be totally upfront with you guys, this is the worst riding shock I have felt in my entire life. To my left, I have 600 pound per inch springs. To my right, I have 700 pound per inch springs. They're the same length, same inner diameter, everything else is the same. An interesting thing about these two springs is the 700 pound per inch springs will do 7.43 inches of travel total before hitting block height. The 600s will do 7.74 inches of travel total. And that's because these coil windings have to physically be thicker in order to increase the spring rate so it can accomplish less travel. But even with that, by the time they hit coil bind, this spring is gonna take 5,200 pounds of force before it hits coil bind. This spring is gonna take 4,644 pounds of force before it hits coil bind. So the difference between these two is 550 pounds of total force, which is insane if you think about it, because over your entire front end, that's gonna be 1,100 pounds of additional force that is pushing out onto your tires after you hit full bump. And if your shocks aren't valved correctly, they're not gonna accommodate that additional spring force. Rebound forces are about three times what compression forces are on average, which means that when your shocks need rebuilt, your rebound feel is gonna be the first thing to go. And so when you add heavier springs, cause your shocks need rebuilt, you can convince yourself maybe that it rides a little better cause on the road, it'll be a little more planted. But the second you get off road, this thing is gonna wanna shoot itself back out so hard. That'll be, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was airborne. Oh my God, it's not good. Yeah, because we're still only doing 30. <laughs> oh my God. And it's gonna have no control and you're just gonna be full of unmetered spring force and have a really poor ride. When I tell you that these things rode horrible with 600 pound springs, I'm not understanding it. They may be the worst shocks I've ever driven in. And now we're gonna switch from this kind of junky low flow piston to the high flow race series piston, which seems kind of backwards because we're increasing the spring rate, so we need more damping on the rebound side, pretty much as a general rule. The thing is two trucks, identical in every way, except one has 600s, one has 700s, generally the one with 700s, if you want them to ride similarly, it's gonna take less compression valving so that it shoots the tire up faster and the spring is resisting more, so you need to let it move a little faster. But then because you're controlling less of that spring force on the way up, you have to control it on the way down, so more rebound valving. Now, frankly, one of the main reasons I'm using Fox's high flow piston with this is that the best traditional coilover I've tested on the Tacoma platform is a King 2.5 without adjusters. The ones with adjusters can be a little rough depending on how they're set up. And I have a really good valve spec for that. But I wanna show you guys something. Check it out, this is Fox's nine hole linear style race piston and behind it is King's standard 2.5 piston. Now you can see straight through the holes. They're pretty much in the same exact spot. This is the new valving for the 700 pound springs. We got a 12, 12, 12 thou flutter. The rest are 15s, that's compression side. Rebound is 15s and then it transitions to 12s. So this is loosely based on King's valving. But again, it's adjusted for those 700 pound springs and because the pistons are like literally so freaking similar between the two, you can use it as a good estimation. Bottom line is that is gonna ride 100 times better than that. So you can be pretty confident copying King's valving specs into Fox as long as you're using the nine hole linear race piston. However, if you're gonna drop it down to a low flow piston like this, the characteristics are gonna completely change. And of course, there's a slight difference between the oil that Fox and the oil that King uses. Some people think that Fox's oil is one of the best there is, the JM92 semi-synthetic rated to 400 degrees. It will behave a little differently than King or even Bilstein's oil. Another interesting thing to note about these springs is that some companies will offer larger inner diameter springs. And that's because a larger inner diameter spring does more travel. So for instance, a 14 inch 3.0 ID 400 pound per inch spring will do 8.41 inches of total travel before coil bind. Whereas that same 14 inch length spring with 3.75 ID and 400 pounds per inch will do 8.85 inches. So that's almost an extra half inch of travel, which when you have a high motion ratio on an IFS application can really make a huge difference. Unfortunately, the only truck that I've seen this tried on is a Tundra and man, those 375 springs, they hit the steering so bad. 
it was, it was gonna snap it in half, so I just swap it back to three O's. I had an unfortunate accident overseas, and now my back is gonna be messed up for the rest of my life. And so because of that, the suspension valving and tuning stuff is really personal to me. If I had to drive in a truck with this low flow piston and this valve spec, literally, I wouldn't be able to off-road anymore and I would have constant nerve pain, it would be miserable. So to me, this stuff is literally the only thing that keeps me being able to off-road and explore the outdoors, which is truly the only thing I like to do in life. Shocks are the single most overlooked safety and maintenance item on a vehicle. So if you're starting to have diminished ride quality, maybe your shocks are leaking, or maybe you got talked into a shock that isn't actually very good, well, drop us a line and I'll see if I can get something figured out for you.